And here we are back at it again with another movie analyzation. I know, I know, it's only been like two minutes since the last one, but here's the thing. I was watching Coraline the other day and I realized something interesting that I wanted to chat about. But first off, for the few of you that don't remember or know this movie, let's do a quick recap. Coraline is a 2009 stop motion animation movie based on the book by Neil Gaiman and directed by the main story follows a young girl named Coraline Jones who's just moved to a new home called the Pink Palace with her two overly stressed and somewhat neglected parents, who are too busy with work to engage with Coraline. Then she turns to investigating the new home, which leads her to a small door in the wall that seems to lead to a magical world all of its own, with similar versions of her parents but with buttons instead of eyes, and they seem much more attentive and caring towards Coraline and her wishes for adventure. But when things take a dark turn as the parents suggest her joining them in their world, Coraline decides she must take matters into her own hands in order to save her parents who have now been taken by the other mother and fight to return home. But today we won't actually be focusing on the main character Coraline for this analyzation, but in fact we'll be talking about the side characters Miss Spink and Miss Forcible, played by Jennifer Saunders and Don French, and Wybie's grandmother Miss Lovat, played by Caroline Crawford. Now, what's the theory, you may ask? Well, here it is. What if Miss Spink and Miss Forcible knew the whole time about the other world, or at least knew about the odd happenings and disappearances that had been happening around the Pink Palace for years? Now, one reason I thought of this theory being possible is because when Coraline goes to see the two retired actresses, they seem to know just what to do to help Coraline. Now, granted, the two of them never address the other world, or in fact even say that it exists, but as I said before, they knew what to do when it came to them for help, thus giving her the stone that helps her discover things in the new world and helps her find the ghost eye. And when Coraline goes back to the other world, the bugs even try to take the stone from her possession, therefore making me wonder if there is a connection to the world and the other mother knowing about the stone and its power. And my question is, how? How could she know unless she's come into contact with such an item before? Now point two is where things get a little complicated, but try to follow along. Now let's say YB's grandmother, Miss Lovat, is probably around her late 80s, maybe early 90s in the current time of the movie. And if her sister went missing when they were young, as seen in the picture YB shows Coraline, I'm wondering that if the girls were around, say, five or seven years old, that it's likely that Miss Fink and Miss Forcible would have been around the same age. But that is assuming again that Miss Lovat is of similar age to begin with. If not, then Miss Spink and Miss Forcible would have been young, or at least young adults, when the girls were living at the Pink Palace. So is it possible that Miss Lovat and her sister knew the two of them before the events of the movie? And another thing to consider is that Miss Lovat seems to lock the doll away that causes her sister's disappearance. Maybe through suggestion, or maybe through fear, who's to say, I suppose. But one thing we do know is, as I said before, it's possible the other mother has come into contact with the stone or something similar before. Otherwise, why try to steal it or even destroy it for that matter? Here's a quick recap of what we know. The stone is key to seeing the ghost eyes. The sisters know how to make the stone Coraline needs to see the other things in the other world. The stone helps Coraline throughout the journey until it is taken by the other mother and destroyed, thus proving she knows either something about its power or knows what it's for. Keep in mind this is all just a theory, but two things that make this whole timeline somewhat difficult is one, the fact that the ghost children are years apart in their set encounters with the other mother, and two, the fact that Miss Spink and Miss Forcible may have been around the same age as Miss Lovat and might have only been kids themselves. It's kind of tricky to determine if they'd even be around the Pink Palace during the whole sister going missing event. So in the end, I guess this video is more of an open-ended theory, but I think it's something that is interesting in the film, and could be an interesting theory if not for the two splitting factors, but that's all I've got so far. So maybe you can tell me what all this means, or even come up with your own theory in the comments below. As for right now, thanks for sitting here and listening to me ramble slash debate for six minutes straight, and thanks for watching. I am a lost boy from Neverland, usually hanging out with Peter Pan.